Hello my beautiful hammerhead and welcome back to another video. So yeah, I know I can't keep up with the video schedule for now because, oops, forgot the light, um, <laughs> work is really, really stressful right now and I'm not allowed to talk about it. That's terrible. But okay, this is the life we're living in right now and we have to just keep going. So. Last week I wasn't able to talk about uh, Inquisitor Poopy Pants. But we're gonna do that today, as well as the Blood Angels that were previewed this week, and then a new Warmer Plus animation. And um, of a request, I want to talk about how to get into Age of Sigma now with 4th edition. So let's dive in. First of all, Imperial Agents. Um, we weren't really that surprised. Well, you, the probability that you were surprised is if you are not that much into the rumor wars of 40k. But for many people in the hobby, this wasn't a surprise. The surprise is well, let's just say the design of Lord Inquisitor Coteas. So, um, let's just say something about this. Um, I still have my third edition Demon Hunter Codex here. Um, it's still in a very, very good condition. And every time I talk about this book, I get sad and... Uh, this sounds more bad than good, um, because it kind of is, <laughs> and there are multiple reasons of this. Um, not only was this one of the codices that was one, uh, let's just say, before the downfall of the RPG elements in Warhammer, which is a good thing, because... Um, Writing army lists back then was very, very fun, but it was also very, very hard. What I really miss about this codex is not only the restrictions you had for your army, but also... Uh, just a second, where was it? It was somewhere back here. Not only um, kit bashes from the studio were in here, how you can do stuff and so on and so on. But also you had a, a demon army in here, a, a fairly weak demon army. With weak I mean for options because you have only one greater demon of chaos and then you have just regular small demons, not even uh, demonets, blood letters, or something like that. It's just demons, so that you can at least play narrative games. And the best thing is the scenario ideas. So you have for every army uh, multiple ideas. Uh, let's just say demon hunters, uh, so grey knights with inquisitors against space marines. The chapter master is possessed. Demon Hunters Against Chaos. It's chaos. That's enough. <laughs> that's, that's it. That's only one point here. Oh, oh wait. I'm stupid. Um, because there are so many things in here. And I always forgot, uh, forget those things. It's... Again, it just makes me sad that the codexes that we have right now are a bit copy and paste. And by a bit copy and paste, I mean a lot of copy and paste, because they are really, really understaffed there. So I really understand why there aren't that many people. But okay, let's go back to the model. Uh, I don't remember what I said right now. So <laughs> I'm really, really tired. Again, work is really hard and um, Please bear with me when I'm a little bit sleepy on this video. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I really 
I don't like this model. As much as I want to love him because it's a great character in the lore, it's just sad um, because we... He's... It's the artwork for the Codex. It's an amazing piece of art. But even the Black Library novel of Inquisitor Code Hairs, Demon Hammer, the, this one is just, I don't know, it just looks bland to me. But I don't want to write too much on Inquisitor Code Hairs. Everyone and their parents and their grandparents and their pets did it last week. So let's just go in with the Warma Plus animation. Uh, the animation itself, the teaser, was really nothing saying. I'm still kind of excited for it. I'm really interested in what this will be. It's sad that it's only three episodes. I just hope it's going to be 20 minute episodes instead of 10. Because 10 to 12 minutes episodes would be a little bit, again, too bad. But with the upcoming Amazon production things, I'm really hoping that at least those things will get better. Then we have the Black Rage. The Blood Angels. Oh, and I'm so happy. The box is a little bit meh because we have 10 regular intercessors. We have 10 assault intercessors. A Brutalist Dreadnought in here. In comparison to the Dark Angels, it's... Ah, I don't know. It's It feels a little bit wanting. What doesn't feel wanting are the two new character models in here. The first one is Chaplain Lamartius, the guardian of the lost. Oh my god, Emperor. He looks so good. He looks really scary. The problem for me, and this is just nitpicking right now, I really, really love this model. The pose the feeling of he's being caged in his own armor. So hold me back, guys. Hold me back. Ah, <laughs> uh, the, the skull helmet. It's beautiful. The rib cage. Again, it looks like he's being caged in his armor. Is amazing. The van braces. It's so good. The skull shoulder pauldron is a little bit, again, a little bit wanting, but that is just nitpicking here. Because everything else, I mean, just look at the base, Blood Angels. And the jump pack is, again, I just like the design of the new jump pack. It looks really, really good. It's just so good. I love this model. Then, Astaroth. Astaroth, High Chaplain of the Blood Angels, is an awesome character in the lore. We had a short story with him as 8th uh, edition with the introduction of the Primaris Marines was about a year or two old. I can't really remember when it came, uh, when it was published. But it was really great because it was the first hints that the Blood Angels, the new Primaris Marines, were also susceptible to the Black, uh, Black Rage and the Red Thirst, which is fantastic. And because uh, Astaroth just comes to the planet, he's being called there by psychic shenanigans. And he's like, oh, I feel that one of our brothers is, well, Black Raged right now. Is it one of the new kind or is it one of our smaller brothers? <laughs> and everyone's just like, it's one of the smaller brothers. And just how he handles the situation. Oh, it's so heart-wrenching. It, it's a really, really good short story. So if you want a really good Astaroth short story, I just recommend it. Maybe it was a Primaris Marine. I don't know. It's been too long since I read this. So I like the redesign, the wings, 
are beautiful. The armor is basically the same, which is a big plus for me. The one thing here is, it's a little bit of the pose. Again, uh, Lemati is here, the hold me back pose. And Astroth is just like, he's again falling and he's tipping over a fancy piece of tactical rock, which is fine. The angle of the picture, the photograph itself, is for me personally the problem. Because here it looks a little bit more dynamic. The axe looks fantastic again. It's just maybe a little bit of rotation here. I know, I know the golden angle and so on, but I don't think that the golden angle has been hit here. I rather see the movement than the axe. Because uh, with other pictures we can see the axe, that is not the problem. But also, I don't know if it's just me, the shoulder pads, because um, I know we kind of have to do something with them. Uh, they can't go to the back, they can't just go up because that would look ridiculous. But it kind of looks like, uh, I don't know, one of the old Toy Story toys. Um, but again, maybe that's just me. Please leave your thoughts on this. So before I go into the uh, how we can start with Age of Sigma. I did a little bit hobby this week because I'm sorry, instead of recording videos, I had to do something. Uh, I did build, uh, because I still had them, 12 Grim Hammers for the dwarves in Lord of the Rings. I primed them and I started painting them. Five of them already have the base coat for their armor. I'm really, really happy with this. Uh, seven of them are still standing there and if you are into the Middle Earth uh, tabletop game and you're probably wondering why do I only have 12? Because back then there were only a pack of 12 instead of 24. So this is the reason, yes, I had them for a long, long time. I just wanted to paint and do something Lord of the Rings, uh, Lord of the Rings themed. So, starting with Warmer Age of Sigma, we are going from the cheapest to the most expensive version. Um, first of all, I like this one. If you really, really want Games Workshop paints and equipment, this one is good because you get uh, 13 paints, was it? 13? Yes, 13 paints. Uh, which is already uh, above the price range of this one. If you have really nothing, this is a great start. Uh, you get a brush, which is just the regular brush, basically. Uh, the... Uh, I, I forgot what this is called. <laughs> Again, I'm really, really tired. Please, please, I'm really, really sorry here. Uh, but yeah, the mold line scraper, I really, really like this one because I can take it to work because we're not allowed to bring sharp objects with us. And uh, another benefit that many people don't see with the mold line scraper is um, with the mold line remover, you don't blunt your knives. You can use your exacto knives for, well, exactly cutting something or working on something. If you're using it for every mold line, you're going to blunt it really, really fast. So I like that we can spare our uh, X-Acto knives here. I don't know the quality of this one. I don't know how you can clip, it's a clipper, yeah, how you can clip your pieces out of the sprue, because if it's the new one, which it doesn't look like it, it's looks, uh, it looks like the old one, it's fine, it's a really good starter thing, but you can get better ones on the market. But again, if you have nothing else, this is a good thing. So then we have um, the small 
starter set 55 euros or your regional equivalent or again uh, you get discounts with friendly local game stores or other online stores i'm torn with this one i don't know if i like this one because you yes you get five liberators you get 20 clan rats you get a couple of dice you get uh, six paints a brush and the range ruler here it's fine um, and also the piece of paper with your map if you have a friend with you that wants one of the two sides it's good but i would still combine it with this one because again more paints a clipper a mold line remover another brush because you can mess up one um but i'm not the biggest fan of this one it feels lacking uh you have many many things in here which is fine oh uh six of the paints are also in here so maybe don't buy this one if you are buying this one uh buy some cheap clippers somewhere else and if you're really into the hobby buy really really nice clippers uh, i can just uh recommend the tamiya god hands they are beautiful plastic is being cut like a hot knife through snow so um then this one i really like um uh, but there are no models in here you only get a little bit of piece of terrain you get the fire and jade book is in here oh no it's not in here uh i'm sorry um okay then you don't really need the fire and jade book because everything in there is basically just a free download on the web page as of right now i don't know if this will change uh, but you get the cards again you get the range ruler you get a little bit a uh, bit of terrain in here and you get the very well made cardboard uh, well not really cut out but um i'm sorry i forgot the words not terrain the board yes that's it the board so keep this one in mind 55 euros again or your regional equivalent then we have this one i don't like the middle starter set because it's 8750 yes you get again five liberators you get three prosecutors you get the lord veritant um is it veritant yeah it doesn't really matter you get 20 clan rats you get the gray seer and you get three red ogres and again the piece of paper for the gaming board and again uh dice and range rulers but this is if you know that you're into the game i would just say the ultimate starter set because yes it's a lot of money yes you might have to uh, add this one to it so do it really really if you have a friend that's going with you into the hobby otherwise don't do it it's just a huge money investment but you get two spearhead armies in here the two full armies because what's missing in this one are the two characters oh uh, the warlock engineer is also here sorry uh, the two mounted characters the terrain the fire and jade book the cards the good map uh the good map the good um yeah let's just call it map that's the word that's stuck in my mind right now you basically get everything to start the game with the models and you can just supplement it with this one if you're really 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 unsure then i would just say open up the regular site here go to age of sigma look for the model that you like or the models the unit from the army you like let's just say uh, here skaven or stormcast eternals that's a really easy one right now pick that unit and or model and this one because again 
we there are just a lot of colors in here you get the clipper you get the mold line remover and a brush if you really want the games workshop stuff there are other companies like army painter like vallejo or uh, vallejo or however they're pronounced i don't know i'm sorry um but if you if this is the easiest way for you to get into again just take this one a model and or unit that you are interested in and then go into the next step when you know okay this is really really fun building painting models is really really fun the only thing that you need here right now i totally forgot this is primer you can prime it with uh, Abaddon Black here, but I don't recommend it. It's a slog. You don't want to do it. Believe me. Trust me. <laughs> um, but of all the starter sets, I think this is the best one. Again, do the other thing first. Be sure it's a huge money investment. But again, you get everything here. You get the map. You get terrain, you get two playable armies in here, the cards for Spearhead, the book for Spearhead, even though there are free downloads as of right now, you get everything that you need, which is really, really great. So, I hope this was a little bit enlightening for you. It's getting really hot right now in my room. I really need to open the window. I'm gonna end this right here, right now. Please tell me what are your thoughts on all of this and please tell me what have you done over the last week in the hobby. I'm keen to know what you have to say. Otherwise, on the weekends, I'm not going to be able to stream for uh, the hobby because I'm streaming on Twitch right now. Uh, not right now, we're gonna start tomorrow. Uh, with two friends and uh, the link is in the description box as well so please say hi we don't know when we're gonna start but we're going to play for a while tomorrow so um then yeah again please leave your thoughts and questions in the comment section i'm keen to know what you have to say otherwise uh no uh forgot to make the outro um because it's too warm and I'm tired. <laughs> uh, please remember to do all the YouTube stuff because I forgot to tell you that. Uh, because hitting buttons is not only fun. Why? Because that way we can build a bigger community and talk more wargaming and lore for now every Friday. And by that I of course mean like and subscribe. And if you want you can support me with the links in the description box as well. Otherwise, have a great day, my friend. Stay fantastic, stay hydrated, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, bye, bye.